Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is part two of the video for the hydraulic cylinder um, rebuild on the sickle mower. I still haven't taken the end of the other cylinder to the hydraulic shop to have it looked at, but uh, the other cyl cylinder I have is off the uh, disc and it's about the same size. It works on the sickle also. That's how I finished uh, hay cutting last year. Um, it does have a leak on it. I'll show you where that leak is. Um, so we're gonna pull at least that, that end off, take a look at it, see if we can't get that fixed. Um, and get this cylinder going while I figure out what I'm gonna do with this other one. We'll take a look at the cylinder here and I'll show you where the leak's at. This is a cylinder off the disc. Like I said, it's very similar, very similar size to the, the one that was on the sickle mower. So this got us through the rest of uh, hay cutting last year. You can see right, right here where those two bolts are, um, there's this little, little detent or depress button. Um, I don't know if that's a bypass or what it is, but uh, we do get some leakage out of that. Um, the cylinder itself, I mean, it gets a thin film on the rod, but it doesn't it doesn't leak bad. But that one, that button there, it definitely leaks from from that point. So we're gonna pull this end off the off cylinder. I'm not gonna pull the rod if I don't have to the piston rod, but we'll pull this end off cylinder and see see what it looks like. Let that drain a little bit and try and try and capture as much as we can. Just a lot of dirt and grease buildup on this one. This came with the disc that I just purchased uh, oh, about a year ago, last spring, um, just in preparation for, for getting ready for uh, plant sweet corn. That's something I'll have to do another video on. Just some of the some of the things I learned last year with sweet corn and what we're gonna do different this year to, to be more successful. So we'll do another video on that. I'm interested in hearing everyone's input and suggestions people have. I know it's not the best idea to use a regular chrome socket on an impact gun, but the clearance here between uh, these nuts and this and this housing, you can't get. Can't get an impact socket on that try. In fact, the regular chrome socket barely fits, so that's why I'm using the chrome socket. I know someone will definitely mention that.
get a better light to try and see in there show you guys what the inside of that that board looks like okay i don't know if you can, i don't know if you can pick this up on camera or not but the o-ring that's in this detenter and this plunger either wasn't the right size or trying to get the camera to focus here Kind of sticks out that side a little bit. Um, I did replace that one early this year because it was leaking quite a bit worse. Um, that was the only one I could find without without going and getting parts, and I was kind of short on time to uh, to get the leak to slow way down. So as you can see, there's also another small O-ring. I did not replace that one, but can't get the camera to focus here. But it's it's pretty flat. Um, doesn't look good. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this this small plunger assembly and then this end cap, <clears throat> take that to the hydraulic shop along with the end cap from the other cylinder that we that we looked at previously. I'll take those both. Have uh have the guy there look at them. I'll get the uh, rebuild kit for this cylinder. I'm not sure if I'll pull the piston out. Um, I didn't have any issues with that. And just glancing inside the uh, the cylinder right now, everything looks everything looks clean. Doesn't look like there's any scratches or any issues. But I'll probably get a rebuild kit for this cylinder. Might as well just, since I have the end off, pull the other end. It'd only take a second. At least replace the O-rings on the uh, on the end caps. Get that little plunger assembly. Get it rebuilt so it quits leaking. And then I think we'll have a good we'll have a good cylinder here on this one. Um, and I'll get his opinion on the on the other cylinder also on that end cap with the with the crack. See if that's something that could be brazed or if that's just needs replaced, and if that cap itself can just be replaced. So it'll end up being a part three on this video, at least uh, me reassembling this this cylinder. Um, and we'll get this taken care of. We'll at least have one good working cylinder. I can swap it between the disc and the and the sickle motor. I used a disc way before the sickle motor, so it's not a big deal. Just take a few minutes to swap them over. So, All right, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the like button, click subscribe. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. We really appreciate it. And see you on the next video.